What is sequestration? In Scotland, the process of bankruptcy is referred to as sequestration. This is a procedure of insolvency where your unsecured debts are written off with the assets usually being sold to repay them. Sequestration is administered by either the Accountant in Bankruptcy, AIB, or through the court. What are the criteria for sequestration? You will need to meet the following criteria to apply for sequestration. You have not been made insolvent in the past five years. You must be able to pay the application fee of £150. You may not need to pay this if you receive benefits. You have lived in Scotland for at least one year or are resident here. You owe debts of at least £3,000. What are the costs? If you receive certain benefits such as universal credit, employment and support allowance or tax credits, you are not required to pay a fee to be made bankrupt. If you do not claim any of these benefits, the outlined fee for this is £150 for standard bankruptcy or £50 for the minimal asset process. This is paid to the accountant in bankruptcy. Pros and Cons of Sequestration Now we will consider the pros of going through sequestration. 1. Write off debt. After it is done, you will be rid of at least a large part of your debt after as little as six months. Your bankruptcy will usually come to an end. You will be discharged after six months or one year, depending on the type of bankruptcy that you have. Some debts will not be written off, such as student loans and criminal fines. 2. No further creditor action. Creditors cannot take any further action against you to recover the debts. They can't make contact with you and will only have to talk to the insolvency company. This will relieve the burden of the debts, making it easier to recover financially. 3. Credit control action stopped. Creditors must stop credit control action, including adding additional charges, interest and penalties. 4. Current enforcement action stops. For example, an arrestment order, where a court makes an order telling your employer to pay some of your wages directly to your creditor. If you become bankrupt, this will stop. 5. Keep goods. You can keep certain household goods and keep some money to live on. Certain goods are not treated as assets in bankruptcy. These are items such as clothing, bedding, furniture and household equipment for basic domestic needs. Items you need to earn a living, for example tools and books, can be excluded up to a total value of £1,000. A vehicle that you need to travel to and from work or to do your job can also be excluded up to the value of £3,000. There are also cons that should be considered for sequestration. 1. Control over assets. Your assets, for example your house or your car, may be sold to release funds for your sequestration. However, there may be some safeguarding options you can use to protect your family from losing their home if they live with you. The trustee has wide powers over your financial affairs. You cannot take out credit of more than £2,000 unless you tell the creditor about your status. You cannot take out credit of any amount if at the time you have debts of at least £1,000. 2. Employment. Some sectors of employment, for example the legal, financial, licensed sectors, require you to undergo background checks, including credit checks. Your job status may be affected, so check your employment contract or contact your HR department. You won't be able to do certain types of jobs, for example, director of a limited company. You cannot hold public office, for example, as an MP, MSP, councillor or a member of a school board and you cannot serve as a company director unless the Sheriff Court agrees. 3. Credit Rating Your credit rating will be affected for 6 years and you will be on the register of, ins of insolvencies for 5 years. Even after this period, it can still be difficult to get credit, such as a mortgage. This is because lenders may ask whether you've been sequestrated or made bankrupt. 4. Costs If you receive certain benefits such as universal credit, employment and support allowance or tax credits, you don't need to pay a fee to be made bankrupt. 
If you do not claim any of these benefits, the fee is £150 for standard bankruptcy or £50 for the minimal assets process. This is paid to the accountant in bankruptcy. 5. Contributions Sequestration will require any monthly disposable income to be sent to the insolvency company. Your appointed trustee will assess your financial circumstances, such as your income and expenditure, to establish if you have any disposable income left after your usual spending every month. If you do have a disposable income, it is usually to be expected that it is used to make payment contributions towards your debts. Should your circumstances change, you may need to begin paying contributions or possibly request that you reduce the amount that you are required to pay. You can request a payment break of up to six months if your circumstances become worse, for example if you lose your job or become ill. 6. Contribution Period If you need to make payment contributions during your sequestration, you will have to continue paying these for four years from the date you were sequestrated. 7. Self-employed If you're self-employed as a sole trader, your appointed trustee consider the following options. 1. The trustee takes control of the business and runs it. 2. The trustee offers a licence to someone else who will run the business. 3. The trustee sells the business. 4. The trustee closes the business and sells its core assets. You can keep certain household goods and keep some money to live on. Certain goods are not treated as assets in bankruptcy. These are items such as clothing, bedding, furniture and household equipment for basic domestic needs. Items you need to earn a living, for example tools and books, can be excluded up to a total value of £1,000. 8.1 The House For those renting their homes, Check your tenancy agreement to see if it contains any information regarding bankruptcy. Some tenancy agreements do possess a clause which permits a landlord to end an agreement if a tenant becomes bankrupt. You will also be obligated to continue to pay your rent during your bankruptcy. 8.2 House For those who are homeowners If you have equity in your property, it will usually have to be sold. The equity is the amount of money that you would get after selling your home and paying off your mortgage. Your appointed trustee will then pay the proceeds to your creditors. If you own your home jointly with someone else, the trustee will typically consider the feasibility of selling your share to the other person. However, providing that the other person is either unable or unwilling to buy your share, the trustee may need to resort to taking the matter to court to request a court order for the house to be sold. Things to Consider Sequestration or bankruptcy can have impacts on those applying for British citizenship and may mean that any application is turned down. Additionally, those acting as sponsor for a dependent entering the UK may be prohibited from doing so. Who administers sequestration? Sequestration is administered by the accountant in bankruptcy or through the courts. What evidence will be required? Examples of evidence include Proof of income, proof of tenancy, bank statements, proof of mortgage payments, policy or insurance documents, proof of electricity and gas bills, higher purchase documents, or proof of debt, for example, debt letters from a company or collections agency. Case study, Mr O'Brien. Mr O'Brien accumulated debts of over £22,000 and only had one asset, his car valued at £500. After contacting moneyadvice.scot and speaking with a money advisor, it was decided that sequestration was the best course of action for him. The moneyadvice.scot advisor went through the full process with Mr O'Brien and received notification from the accountant in bankruptcy that his application for sequestration was accepted.